Good morning and welcome to Trinidad, Colorado for Lifetime the Rad Dirt Fest presented by Wahoo. This is the first year that the Rad is entering the chat for the Grand Prix. We called this a wild card. So the challenge to us was, let's go find some really cool communities that are worthy of hosting a bike race. And Trinidad was a perfect fit for us. We really believe in the future of this community. The vibe of Trinidad, it's definitely like old town vibes. And you can tell there's like a lot of character and a lot of history in this town. There's like definitely like a lot of excitement around the race. We're all the same. We're all just out here riding bikes, man. I'm bid number 704 and I'm doing the Antelope. We just got in. I mean, you know, this is my third year. You know, it's a town. It's just trying to embrace this whole, this whole bike thing. And I got to say it, you know, from being local, it's pretty awesome. Nobody said you had to ride everything out there. They just said go out and smile and have a damn good time. The stubborn Dolores about to kick off here at the 2023 Lifetimes of Rad, presented two, by Wahoo. One, go! We are off and rolling with our neutral stuff. Today we find ourselves in beautiful Trinidad, Colorado, right on the border of Colorado and New Mexico. And we're about to take you all through the Spanish peaks down here in Southern Colorado to have a beautiful day uh, for these men and women that are out here battling. It's gonna be a dynamic race out there. It really is. We've got just such a stacked field. It's so great to see many of these riders show up and put, help put this race in this town on the map. Kimo, we're here just past Trinidad Lake State Park, and we have a group of about 30 leaders coming through. Looks like Russell Finsterwald on the front, Alexi Vermillion on his wheel. I saw Howard Grotz, Pacey McGelvin. We're on this nice pavement climb. This is gonna be a nice two, three, four percent consistent climb. It's gonna eventually turn to gravel and get into the really good stuff, the champagne stuff. Kimo, we just saw our lead women go through. So we got Crystal Anthony come off the front here in the lead. Paige Onwiller has made her way into this chase group. It's discarded just a little bit off with Lauren Crescenzo on her wheel. Uh, shouldn't be long now before we start having some riders come through in our shorter distances, but we're gonna take a look at uh, the current situation out there with our elite riders. It's up mile 22.4. Two riders off the front, uh, about 30 seconds ahead of chase one. Chemo, new situation on the road. The two leaders have been caught by a chase group. So uh, what, Brendan Johnson, Alexi Vermeulen, uh, there in the front, Alex Howes. Oh my goodness, things shaking up on the women's side of things. The women are through mile 70.8 right now. And looking at our top five right now, looks like this, Melissa Rollins sitting in fifth place, trying to chase up to fourth and third place, who blew through at 59.03. So uh, she is just over three and a half minutes back from Paige on Willard, Christo Anthony, uh, who comprised chase number one. Now, check this out. Lauren DeCrescenzo and, Ale and Alexis Scarta are your leaders. Lauren DeCrescenzo has a few seconds up, about 20 seconds up on Alexis Scarta. I don't know if Lauren's feeling good at this point, man. She may turn on the gas and see if she can stay out there solo. All right, so as we're awaiting our second finish here in the Frijoles division, we're gonna take a look at how things are shaking out in our uh, elite men's race. The Stubborn Dolores distance, 110 miles. Uh, those riders closely battling it out, and look at that. Uh, things are pretty tight there in and around our top five. That includes Lachlan Morton, Brendan Johnston, Alex Howes, Alexi Vermeulen, and Peter Stetna. Janelle Spilker in Trinidad, Colorado. We are at the finish of Lifetime, the Rad Dirt Fest presented by Wahoo. And we have our top men coming in, a group of five with Lachlan Morton, Alex Howes, Pete Stetna, Brandon, Brendan Johnson, and Alexi Vermeulen and it is a dynamic road finish. So we're gonna be looking to see if they come in a group of five for a sprint finish. We'll know they're about two miles out. So here we go, charging up another hill. We're seeing some attacks. All three riders are out of the saddle right now. Here it is coming into the finish. The men's winner, it looks like it's gonna be Alexi Vermoulin taking the win here at the Rad. And in second, that's Pete Stetna. And just on the heels, Brandon Johnson. It was a really good day out and uh, the course is awesome here at the Rad. It's like provides for such exciting racing, really tactical and um, I loved it. 
Let's take a look and see what things are shaking out over on the women's side. Lauren DeCrescenzo, your leader. Check this out. She has managed to dig another 30 seconds of gap between her and second place, Alexis Scarda. Question is, does Alexis Scarda's crack? Do Paige Onwell and Crystal Anthony catch up? Does that become a three-way sprint for second place? You're going to find out here in just a little bit. Lauren, congratulations. A well earned your second win here at the RAD. This has to feel good. Oh, this feels really, really good. Congratulations to our top five and our top three overalls. And not only the Lifetime Grand Prix, but today's RAD event. Let's hear it for one more time, everybody. 